Welcome back everyone, this is CNS Farms and today we are on Nordic Country, this is episode 29 and we need to get 28 and 22 harvested, there are two Roggen fields and then after that we need to talk to someone about buying field 22 and then we're going to be planting sunflower in 37, planting, hmm, I have wheat, oh yeah, wheat in 26, or no, what are we, thought we were planting wheat in 28 let me fix that we're gonna put wheat in 28 and then we're gonna do some soy in 26 all right yeah I got them two fields mixed up so we're gonna do soy 26 and then we're gonna probably have to fertilize so let's go ahead and hop in the harvester real quick and we also need to sell off our corn mash I'm sure that'll be ready at some point in this episode and if not this episode, it'll probably be next episode. So, we're going to fill up on fuel here real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and write that down in my notes. If we can stop here. Let me write down corn mash. Unless we are just going to wait for the other corn fields to grow up, we could do that as well. I kind of want to see exactly what we're going to make off of that field. Oh, I unfolded the wrong implement. I meant to unfold the harvester, not the header. So I think we're going to start on this field just so that we can get it sold off faster. So go ahead and unhook that and swing around here. Go ahead and get that lifted up and we're going to work on getting this field harvested a while. So for right now, I'm just going to hire a worker and then run over and hop in our grain cart tractor and get all hooked up and ready to go with that. And we need to start a tractor over on field 26 planting soybeans, so we'll get all that underway. But first, we got to get our grain cart hooked up, so go ahead and run over here to the grain cart shed. In the last episode, I believe I forgot to unload the rest of the wheat that was in this uh, trailer from feeding the chickens, but it'll be fine. It has a cover on, and it'll be ready for next time we need to feed them, so I'm not too worried about that. We'll get hooked up to this. We'll head over here. And then we'll go get our, probably our I forget what tractors we have now. It's been so long since I played on here. I've been busy doing map tours and I think by the time this video comes out I'll already have some mod reviews out possibly. I don't know for sure if I'm going to do them yet but if I do do them they'll be out before this video so I've been working on them. And let's see what is this. Oh, we want this tractor because that may need to be used for something else. But I started another series, as you guys may know. So that has been taking up a lot of time. And I have the Roleplay 4 series going on right now. So that is also taking up a good bit of my time. So I haven't been able to really hop on here for a while. Good thing I got a couple episodes recorded. So I don't really have to worry about it. I like to try to stay a little bit ahead. Just in case if anything would happen, you guys would still have videos to watch. We'll go ahead and get this thing refilled. So yeah, soy in 26. And then wheat in 28. I don't know why I had them two mixed up. So we'll get this loaded up here. How are our sheep doing? I'm pretty sure they should be almost full on wool. 44,000. Okay, not too bad. They could use some water. Chickens are perfect. Yeah. They'll be fine for a while though. I think our next upgrade is probably going to be a new cedar. Since we're getting to get some bigger fields, I think it's time to upgrade to a bigger cedar. So you guys already know what we're going to go with. We're going to go with the cart. Let me show you guys it if you haven't seen it yet. It is the John Deere Air Cart. 
an air hoe drill. So we're going to get one of these, one of these to go along with it. And then we're going to need a 520 horsepower tractor. So I'm not really sure what tractor we're going to go with, but we're looking at over a million dollars for all that. Because none of our tractors have that much horsepower. So it'll probably be a little while down the way. Still need to come up with some more money before we can upgrade our tractor and our um, cedar. For some reason I cannot think about it or think of it the road. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just do a headland pass across here just so he doesn't end up running into the pond because that would not be good. Go ahead and get that lower down, and we'll probably do like two or three across here, probably three, just to play it safe. So I'll go ahead and get that knocked out. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Been having a lot of fun with this farming simulator content. It's been taking up a lot of time, but it's definitely a lot of fun. And ever since I've been doing map tours and other gameplay series on top of this, it seems like it's just more fun. The more I do, the more fun I have doing it. Well, I could be pushing out probably four map tours a day and maybe even two gameplay episodes. Depending on my schedule for the day. And oh yeah, I forgot we still have that live stream going on on Fox Farms. That has been a lot of fun putting that together. I like getting on there and interacting with you guys, even though not a lot of you seem to ever join it, but afterwards it gets a gets a decent amount of views, so I don't really know if it's just bad timing or if you just like watching it as a video. But if it is bad timing, let me know and I can try to switch around the times a little bit in case you can't catch it or anything. I'll try to stream whenever the majority of the people can. So if you want to go ahead and drop what time you would like to see the streams, let me know. I'll try to do it sometime anywhere in between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern time. Just so I still have time to get other stuff done. But in between there, we can switch it around. Maybe I'll record gameplays in the morning and then stream in the afternoon. It doesn't doesn't really matter to me so I'll go ahead and let him work on this field and then we'll jump over here and check on our harvester he looks to be full Let's hop in the big 310 get him unloaded I'm still so in love with this tractor I've been wanting to get on here so bad just so I could use this I think we may get another one like this and use it as a seating tractor for the air cart. Just not sure what the max horsepower is on them, so we'll have to check that out. Let's go ahead and get lined up here. Then let's take a look in here at the max horsepower on one of these. I think I have a 9R installed. Was that it right there? The 9RT? Oh yeah, she definitely gets up to enough horsepower. See, 520 on the dot. How much would that be? 494,000. So it's a 9520RT. Okay, and we don't need does have a P PTO, looks like it. Yeah, any, yeah, we can't change that. We want the US version and we get some wider tracks. Okay. Oh, this is the one that you can do the, yeah, we would get that set up, I like that. And what is this, a weight on the front? We don't really need that beacons. We put both of them on. See, so yeah, that may end up being our planning tractor at some point for the cedar. Should be pretty awesome. 
Yeah, so we would be looking at about 503,000. So we got a wild, a good wild way, a good way to go. I'm not quite sure how to say that phrase, but we got a while to go before we will have that type of money. But we could always buy more sheep. So the sheep are making us a ton of money. I honestly just feel like it's too overpowered, but we can have... And this pen can hold 500 sheep. So I kind of want to buy a couple more, but at the same time, I feel like it's just so overpowered. How long? Let me check the date here and see how long we have until FS22 comes out. So this video will be posted 20th, so we'll have about a month still before. So I don't want to kind of like try to speed things up and upgrade everything. But I do think... I may went to buy some more sheep. Not not a crazy amount, just maybe like 20 more sheep. Just because our pen can hold 500 and we haven't even bought sheep, we just inherited 50 of them at the beginning. If you have been watching from the beginning, then you know what I'm talking about. We started with 50 and they already reproduced the whole way up to 128. So it would it wouldn't be really bad to buy probably like twenty more sheep or I don't know. I may. I'll have to kinda of decide on it. We don't really have the money to right now, so can't really buy any right now, but maybe in a couple episodes I'll buy some more or maybe even later on this episode. We'll just have to kinda of see how it goes. But let's hop in the harvester here. There is some touching up I want to do. Like right here, we missed a little bit. I'm going to let him roll through that. Silly me, I always seem to forget something. I have forgotten to start my stopwatch so I know how long we have been recording for. So if this episode ends up being a little bit longer, that's why. Wow, that's crazy. We just got this harvester not that long ago. Let me look here and see when we got this harvester. I think it was episode 17. Well, it has been a couple episodes actually. I thought it hasn't been that long ago. So we got it about 12 episodes ago and we already got almost 10 hours after we get done with this harvest. It'll be 10 hours on it. So we've been doing a good bit of harvesting with this thing. I would like to upgrade it to the one that holds, I think it holds 20, 22,000 liters instead of 14,000 liters. So it would be really helpful on some of the bigger fields. Oh, come on, i put that back down. Don't go up. We've got more to harvest here. So yeah, it would be a lot helpfuler. So I won't have to unload as much and I'll be able to accomplish more stuff while the harvest is going on. Why does it keep... Oh, maybe because I had it turned on and I just lifted it and then I hit it square to turn it back on. That could possibly be why. So now that this field is completed, we can go ahead and sell this field off. Just because we're starting to get big equipment and this is one of our smaller fields, so we don't... Whoa. These brakes really don't want to work today. It doesn't help that I hit the throttle as well, but but now we're starting to get bigger equipment, and as we get bigger, 
I think this field is just going to become a hassle, especially if we're trying to plant it with the air cart and the end down there where the poles are, it would just be a hassle to try to plant that. So I think it's just time to let it go. It's done as good, made us a ton of money. This was the first field we started with, this field in 27. So she's been around for 29 episodes, but I think it's time to move on and let her go. So hopefully we can find someone that will make us a decent offer on it. And we can get it sold off today. Kind of have to see how that all goes. But we'll head over here and start harvesting on this field. Just around here. sure at some point our other field is going to need fertilized over there. Just let that save. Go ahead and hop in here and head over to field 28. So I'll probably go ahead and put a cut in, get some more work done off camera, and then I'll bring you guys back in a little bit later that's the plan as of right now alright well I just noticed this this must have been one of the mods that I recently had troubles with and I took it out of my mod hub and now we don't have a silo and we lost a ton of crop I can't remember we had wheat in there and we had I don't, I'm not sure what all we had in there. I have to watch the last video and see. But we'll have to try to figure out a way to get all our crops back. And or not, if we can't get all of our crops back, at least get the equal amount of money back from them. And then we'll have to add in some money to buy a new silo. Because in real life, your silo wouldn't just disappear. So I'm going to go ahead and work on doing that, and then I'll bring you guys back in once I get this all sorted away. Okay, so I tried to add in our silo back over here where it used to be, but it said that the terrain cannot be modified. So, just so you guys see what I'm doing, I went ahead and I put our silo. I found the same exact one we had. So we're going to go ahead and fill up with... What all did we have? we pretty sure... Oh no, we had lime as well. I have no clue how much lime we had. And fertilizer in there. Alright, well. Last time that I've seen us having anything in our silo was whenever we got chicken food and we had 60,000 liters. And then we took out 21,000 in our trailer. So that leaves us with 39,000-ish liters. So we're going to try to get as close as 39... Oh. 39 that is almost perfect so we'll go ahead and take this over and I moved our silo over to here since we couldn't place it there because it said the terrain could not be modified so I kind of like it back here anyway because it's kind of like out of the way and it's an easy clean pass for the semis to come in and get loaded up so we'll go ahead I'm pretty sure this is the exact silo we had if I'm wrong correct me but I'm 90% sure this is the one so I don't know what do you guys think we should do about the lime and the fertilizer I almost forgot about having that in there because the lime is quite expensive so that kind of gives us a decent loss but I don't know how much we had so I can't really I don't want to cheat any more in than what we and I don't know because I think I feel like there was like 40,000 liters of lime and lime's not that expensive so I hope you guys don't mind but I'm going to go ahead and just do 40,000 liters of lime because I'm pretty sure we had lime in here so we're just going to do 40,000 liters of lime and we're not going to do any fertilizer because I'm not 100% sure if there was fertilizer or not so we'll just do 40,000 and then we'll sell off this our money was at 29,000 I believe 29,000 oh shoot I was looking at my notebook 
Alright, well, 4,000 meters of lime is not a crazy amount of money. But before I added in money and added everything back in, we were at $29,237. So if you go back to the last club, you can see it was at $29,237. So after we sell off, I don't know how much we're going to get for selling off the thingy the all-in-one buy station so we come in here and look so yeah this is what I added in just to kind of fill in that space so here it is 7,000 so that puts us 3,000 ahead okay so let's find something that we can lease that costs 3,000 perfect so we'll lease that Okay, go ahead and go to lease items return. So now we're at 29,643, so that's about $400 over. So what can we lease for $400? I know $400 doesn't seem like a lot, but I just want to try to be as fair as possible. No, that's not very much, that's 200. Yeah, that makes a big difference. See, so we need something that costs around six thousand or sixty thousand. I mean, oh wow, that's way more than what I expected. Yeah, I don't even know why I clicked on that. That was kind of dumb of me. How much is this to lease it? Six hundred. So that put us negative two hundred. I feel like a trailer would just do it. Four hundred. So we'll lease this trailer. And we are two dollars off of what we had before this happened. So we'll go ahead and return that. We got down pretty close. If you go back to the last clip and look, you'll see that we had twenty-nine thousand two hundred thirty-seven, and now we got twenty-nine thousand two hundred thirty-five. So I did the best that I could to get us back to where we were. Other than the look of the farm, because I'm going to miss having the silo back there. I liked having it back there. But it was kind of tight for some reason to get back there, so I guess it doesn't hurt to have it over here. But still, I like the old setup. But we got a little bit of decoration over there now, so the farm's not so plain, I guess. Right, we'll go ahead and put this away. And we need a hop back. Let's get back into our cedar here and get him rolling again. And then we'll get back over to. It's actually full, so let's go ahead and head over here and get him unloaded. And then after we get him unloaded, I'm gonna go in and talk to the people I was talking to a couple episodes ago about selling this farm off. Not the farm, the field, I mean. We don't want to sell off the farm. But then we wouldn't be able to do anything if we sold off the farm. So we're going to sell off that field. We'll talk to them. See what they can do for us. See if anybody was interested in it. So, oh, I'm kind of, kind of low off. So we'll go ahead and let him do all that and I'm going to go hop in the pickup truck and head into town and I'll update you guys once I find something out. Alright, well I just got back. We got $68,255 for that land for field 22. We no longer own field 22. Someone already planted corn in there? Jeez. They must have been ready. But, oh yeah, I know what I need to do. I need to turn the plant growth back on because I didn't want everything shooting up while I was adding in that money. So we'll go ahead and put it on normal for now. Or we'll put it on fast. So let's see. I'm thinking about buying like 20 more sheep. It would help us get through them grass bales and then we can finally do some baling again. Kind of miss doing grass work. 
It'd be kind of fun to get back into that. But let's just go ahead and see about getting some delivery. What do we have? We got white sheep. And we got black and white sheep. So let's see. That's one, two, three, four. Okay, well I bought 22, that should put us at an even 150. Let's go ahead and get them topped up now. Oh, hold up, before we do that, apparently it's filled 37 good to go, it doesn't need anything. Oh, I hope it doesn't, alright, perfect. So let's hop in here and go up there and we're going to plant some sunflowers in field 37. Let's go ahead and get hooked up to the planter here. A brand new DB90 that we just got not long ago. Get her all hooked up. Let's go ahead and can I refill her? Not close enough. Go ahead and get her filled up and switched over to sunflowers. Game seems a little laggy right now. I don't know if you guys know this or not. Seems like every time I'm using the DB90 or DB120, it, the game always wants to lag. So that's not a good thing. Hopefully, it doesn't crash. Let's go ahead and do a save just in case. Just so our silo and everything is good to go, and we don't have to worry about. Doing all that again. Head over here. So these two fields, if you remember, we put corn in them. Go ahead and get this unfolded. I think it should be good. I just don't want the helper to keep going straight through that field behind of us because I feel like since this is so big. Sometimes the bigger equipment wants to act up like that, so we kind of have to monitor it. Uh, we'll have to watch it a little bit and make sure it doesn't do anything crazy. <coughs> Excuse, me. <coughs> Excuse me, let me take a drink real quick. Oh, sorry about that, I had to take a drink. I had something in my throat. Alright, let's go ahead and I want you to start at the end of the field, not halfway in it. So we'll go ahead and just hire him here and see how he does. Keep an eye on him, but right now we got to get these sheep up to date. We'll go ahead and grab... Tele handler with the big bag handler. Grab us some grass from over here. Oh yeah, we're running low. It has to be empty soon. We haven't done any grass work in so long. Can't believe that we still have bales. Apparently our weight isn't heavy enough for all these bales. Five bales, it seems like it doesn't want to go. And they are super excited to get out of the barn. They've been in there since the beginning. Let's see how much Cool. Let's just go ahead and grab one more. Let's go ahead and take this one. So let's check real quick. That's 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 times 2 is 26. So we got 26 bales. Oh, make that 27 because we're only taking one of these. So we got 27 bales. I'm not sure what 27 times 4,000 is though. Have to use a calculator to do that. That should have gotten there full. Should be able to hook up this guy, yep. And then go ahead and unload into the water trough. And check and see. So I said 27 bales times 4,000 liters a bale. That's still 108,000 liters. So if we take a look here. Oh, where are the sheep at? Back here. So they take 70,000. So that's every seven days. So another seven end day game. In game days, they would need more. So I think we should probably start working on making some more hay bales. Finally we get to use the Massey again. That's exciting. <clears throat> and our brand new windrower that we only used once I believe. I think we only used it for grass one time. We spent 60000 on it. So we'll go ahead and get this unloaded here and I need to that dropped off here. And then I'm gonna finish up this harvest over here and then I'll bring you guys back in probably after the harvest is done so that we can go ahead and sell off that crop and make some more money. Alright, we're finishing up our last pass here with the raw again. Sunflower is still coming along and the soy field is coming along as well. We're actually going to go ahead and take this directly up and sell it. So I pulled out the semi and got it parked over here. So as soon as he gets done here, go ahead and try not to take out too much crop in the neighbor's field. Help her see. Who's help her see? Alright, hang on. What is help her see doing? We don't need you to do all that. We do need to get this field lined, though. That's what we do need to do. Let's go ahead and just get this ready to be parked whenever we get back and then we'll lime the field after we sell off this crop. Why it? There's two different hooks on this? Two different hitches I mean? I just now realized that there was two different hitches. We'll just pull this out of the way so we can line once we get back and we'll get it put away a little bit later. Put it right there. Make sure we shut this off and pull it up out of the way as well. So this video might be a little bit longer because you still have to line and finish up that um, sunflower planting probably take a while but most of it will probably be done off camera but I am going to lime on camera and drive up here to sell this off on camera just to get a little bit more on camera action I know sometimes it seems like most of the work is done off camera and I don't want it to seem like that so we're going to go ahead and head up here to the sell point I'm not sure how it's pronounced so we're just gonna head there oh 
watch out. I think we just missed her. Don't tell Farmer Cop. He'll get us for a hit and run. We'll go ahead. At least we use our turn signals. That's a good thing. Sure, no cars are coming. And we hit a pole. We hit a pole again. We are just hitting everything on the way up here to this sub point. No turn signals turned off. So we didn't really get much off them two fields. I wasn't really expecting to get a whole lot. I guess for the size of the field, it was a decent amount. But we should still make around 63,000 off of it because it's selling right now for 100,000 per liter. A little over. Rough, uh, roughly 100. Not 100,000, 1,000 per thousand liter. I think it's like 1100 or right around 1100. Oh, we're coming in hot. Go ahead and make sure everything's unloading properly. It looks all good. Getting pretty dusty back here. Let me walk over to the side. Should be good. Let's go hop back in the truck. Okay, 71,000. Not too bad. Alright, well to save a little bit of time, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the farm, get in the fertilizer, or lime spreader I mean, and go spread some lime, and I'll bring you guys back in once I get doing all that. I will show the lime spreading. So once we get all that underway, or set up I mean, not underway. I can't talk right now. I'm sorry guys. Probably used to it by now, but... Once I get hooked up to the lime spreader, I'll bring you guys back in. Alright, I just got refilled on lime, so we're going to go ahead and head over here to field 28. I had to take some more seeds up to him because he ran out. He got about halfway done, so hopefully he'll have enough seeds to finish up, but I'm not sure. May need a little bit more. Then we'll have to fertilize that field because he's not applying any fertilizer. But we'll go ahead and get some liming done on this field and then I'll put in another cut wait for him to get that field completely seeded or planted I mean and then that'll probably be the end of the episode because we are already are pretty far into it today so that's kind of what we got going on right now Next episode, we'll mow some grass because we shouldn't have anything to harvest. So to give us a little something to do, we'll do some grass baling. And we'll do some fertilizing because all of our fields will probably need fertilized. And 37 will probably need fertilized twice. So we're definitely going to have to buy some more fertilizer next episode. And we'll probably end up selling the wool. And we'll have to check and see how the eggs are doing. I'm not sure if they'll need sold off or not. But that's kind of what we got planned for next episode. We're just going to mow this little grass area right here since we don't have a grass field. Which isn't a big deal. That little plot of land right there should give us plenty of grass. Especially if we mow it every time, which we'll probably have to start doing. Every time it grows up, we'll probably have to mow it. Just since we're not getting as much as we used to, we won't have enough to last us as long as what we did before. I can't even remember the last time we bailed grass for the sheep. It's been so long. If you guys remember the last time we did any bales, let me know down in the comments. It has to have been at least 20 episodes ago. At least. Probably a little bit longer. But it'll be fun to bring out the Massey and get to use it again because we haven't been able to use the old Massey in a while. She just doesn't have enough horsepower for what we got going on anymore. Sad, but that's kind of how it goes. 
I still remember the episode that we bought, the messy hit. I remember setting everything up for the roleplay, that was pretty fun. I enjoyed setting that up. Especially since my grandfather had one very similar. A little bit of a smaller a smaller one I believe. I believe his was a 265 and we got like a 302 or something. I'm not quite sure. Let me check and see. I don't even think they make a 302. I think it's like a 398 or something. Let's take a look here if we can ever get to the end of our equipment. 398, yeah, he had a 265 or a 285. I think it's a 265. But I guess we'll just let the worker work on the rest of this and I'll bring you guys back in once that is finished up and we'll wrap up the episode so I'll see you guys shortly all right we're finishing up the last pass so I think we'll go ahead and wrap up the episode so if you didn't already make sure you go down and like the video leave a comment on the video with any feedback or anything you want to see in future episodes and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications this has been CNS Farms we'll see you next time